boy. Here we go. The M1000R first ride. A hyper naked that I just bought. You guys saw the video of me picking it up. The first M1000R in the US. This is crazy. The bike literally has, well it had 5 miles, now it has 6 because I just rode it to the front and back and then I was like, you know what, I can't wait to do the first ride even though the weather isn't the best and it might be a little sprinkly here and there, we'll do the first ride, we'll break it in a little bit and see what this bike is about. I've never ridden even the single uh, naked like the S1000R or any of those, so this is my first time on a naked BMW and I am excited. Uh, we'll probably switch it to GP shift later and stuff like that, so, yeah. Let's see. The beautiful dash, very similar, pretty much same thing as my S1000, uh, M1000RR. This bike looks way too good. I can't believe that this bike is gonna be rented out. So yeah, I bought this bike as well as the Ducati V4S to restart my rental business. So if you want to ride this bike, as soon as I break it in, you guys will be actually able to ride this. Uh, it's going to be on Rideshare or check out Superbike Rentals. That's my other Instagram for the rental business. So check out the Instagram and uh, the link in the bio should take you directly to these bikes if you want to rent them out. I think the, yeah, the V4S is already available. Uh, not yet for this bike, obviously, since we just got it. I gotta break it in and, you know, ride it a little bit, see how it is. And I was a little unsure about allowing other people to, you know, ride this bike just because of how rare it is. But, as I said, I want to share kind of like this passion and I want you guys to experience some of these hyper bikes. bike is not even uh, warmed up yet it's limited at like 8,000 or wait oh we're in the break-in service so we're only gonna be able to go up to like 9,000 uh, rpm so even if it's warm, I was like I thought I warmed it up pre uh, previously yeah the bike feels extremely comfortable like I always said uh, the last time when I rode my M1000 RR I rode the rush like that same day and then I hopped on the M1000 RR and I was like, oh my god, the M1000RR, even though it's a race bike, it's so much more comfortable and relaxed. This bike has a key fob, if you guys didn't notice, so I was stuffing in the key just to make sure that it doesn't fly away. <laughs> but yeah, I was saying how much more comfortable the M1000RR is. And now that we're on the single R, like, you know, this already feels like crazy, you know? I just feel so relaxed. I wonder if... And the mirror is like all the way like this. No, that definitely looks more weird. Oh, this is very tight. These handlebars are amazing, reminding you what bike this is. You're on the M, not the S1000 M package. For all of you guys that don't know, there is the M packages and there is the full on M line. They're pretty much most racy track version. Here, a helicopter somewhere. It still has the hold. The BMW, yeah, Tec when it comes to technology, there's nothing that beats these bikes. These bikes are just too good. I'm trying to compare it to my Rush. I barely rode the, I only have like 50 miles on it, just rode it back when I picked it up. I think it feels a little bit higher, the Rush feels a little more aggressive. This is that sweet spot right in between, at least what it feels like, just from sitting on it. Yeah, the bike obviously feels, it feels lower I would say. I'm not sure if it, if it is, but it's definitely feels lower, maybe because it's a smaller bike, but I feel like my legs, I'm completely sitting down, not even standing up. My legs are completely like bent. <laughs> the limited RPM. Oh, the auto blipper is so smooth on the BMWs. It's honestly unbeatable. I still gotta take it easy because the tires are very new. Uh, by the way, for your info, uh, you can actually, like, they put the 9000 RPM limit for you so you can actually beat on the bike so I can ride it hard since it's restricted up to that 9,000 limit but yeah just first 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 reactions and uh, thoughts about this bike just unbelievably smooth that it might be a bit smoother than even my M1000 RR 
and it feels oh not gp shift we're gonna switch it to gp shift as soon as possible we're back to the same thing i was like yes i have all my bikes as gp shift and then i get two other bikes and then i'm like okay well that was pointless yeah that this hold option is so nice now i don't have to like hold my brakes when i'm in a hill the clutch release on this one is not like the ducati where it's like very far out it feels a lot easier the pops feel really nice on this bike imagine that the cop was waiting for me so you can pull me over uh no he's not following me okay we're good extremely flickable carbon wheels this is the first naked bike that i ride actually this is not this is the second one the nurburgring the Agusa had carbon wheels but this is very very light it definitely feels lighter than the mv agustas take it really easy here we got to break in that tire i can't get too excited yet man this bike feels too good i want to like take this corner a little bit harder but I mean, this is pretty crazy. This is a really fast bike. It definitely feels faster than, I don't think it's even comparable to be honest. I need to double check, make sure that the key is not like uh, almost flying off. Yeah, I can't believe that I bought the first M1000R in the US. That's absolutely crazy. I've never had, you know, been like that early. It's actually my friend and my business partner in uh, the rental business The owner of PDM brands he had his name on one and he didn't want it and then we're like Oh, why don't we get it for the rental business? And I was like, you know what? Let's do it Honestly, this bike just goes Super nice super relaxed Obviously the naked bikes I feel like they don't live the best on the freeway just because there's so much wind at these speeds but I feel like I'm sitting like low, you know what I mean? So like, I feel like I'm secured in the bike. It doesn't feel like I'm sitting on top of the bike or anything like that. You know, like my knees fit in like really well. It does come with the uh, aftermarket rear sets for this bike. Uh, well, not aftermarket, the BMW upgraded rear sets that are fully adjustable. So that's obviously like a big plus. 10 miles on the bike. <laughs> hey, extremely nimble bike. I can't wait to break it in and tune it with Brent tuning. This bike is gonna be an animal. Of course, we got the cruise control. So there we go, set on cruise control. Let's adjust the mirror slightly. There we go, my OCD is better now. This side is a little lower than the other one. But yeah, uh, definitely feels a little bit wobbly. That's kind of like typical for a naked bike. It might be a bit more wobbly. Uh, I'd have to ride my bikes back to back, but I think the rush when I think about it, that's why that rush was able to do 200 miles an hour is a little bit more stable than this bike. Yeah, the, but the bike is a lot heavier. This is a very light bike, so you know, there can only be so much like room of like, you know, do you want it to be very light? Or it's kind of like the carbon wheels, like so, uh, my fire blade feels very stable because it doesn't have, it has full cast wheels, which are like very heavy, not great for performance, but you know they're they're good because they're stable yeah like the lighter your wheels are the more like kind of squirrely the bike feels but obviously it'll feel more nimble at the same time so it's kind of you got to find that like sweet spot of balance i feel like with these bikes yeah, this bike looks great it sounds great what an amazing naked bike i just can't get over how smooth and makes you want like want to ride for no reason you know what i mean i just want to like commute and go places on it because it's so easy comfortable relaxed but at the same time it's still fast because i don't like riding slow bikes you know this has still got the power obviously it will do a little bit more testing i kind of like wanted to you know just get a feel for it breaking in a little bit but we'll definitely gun it a little bit more well as much as i can with this uh restrictions the soft limiter is really tripping me out And that would stop speed <laughs> with the self limiter. But yeah, the bike gets up there really quick. Obviously, we're not gonna get a feel or the taste for the full power until the bike is unlocked. But until then, you know, you still get a good feel. Like even in sixth gear, if I just give it gas, it feels really fast. Honestly, I think it feels similar, maybe even a little faster than my M1000 uh, RR back when it was stock. 
it definitely feels like better usually bmw's like before you get them tuned and unlocked they feel absolutely horrible this one doesn't feel as bad it's getting really cold we got 15 miles on her yeah i'm super scared uh leaning it just because the tires are brand new and it's a brand new bike cold down baby all right that's all it is red line at 9,000. yeah stopped uh, to do a couple of cosmetic mods i stole this piece and put it on my m1000 double r and i don't know how i feel about it i don't know if i like it better with the decals it looks cool because the decals are actually painted uh but i think it's a little too much decals that's why in the first place i didn't put like any decals on my bike uh, I like the, co the contrast. Let me know what you guys think back when I switched back to it. So I might switch it back to the plain carbon, I don't know. But I actually scratched the paint a little bit and uh, of course I was like, of course that had to happen. So <laughs> a little bummed about that but because this is black paint it's super, you can see like all the scratches, super easy. So we put uh, the tank pad on it from BMW that I had sitting, that was supposed to be for my uh, M1000RR when I get a new tank. So put it on this bike so it doesn't scratch and switch this bike to GP shift. I already took off the front hazards as well. So I already got a few baby mods for it. Oh, I can't wait for sunny days. It's all gloomy and gross and cold. And now we have a working GP shift. So that's really good news since I'm gonna have to put on a lot of miles on it and to break it in. I definitely wanted it to be more comfortable and feel natural. Oh, okay. I definitely felt this flat spot a little bit right now. So yeah, this is the 23 model, so it should have the stoppy mode as well, similar to the 23 S1000 uh, double R. Not the M, because the M is not really out yet. This is an awesome bike. It's just so easy and like fun to ride. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. The view from here with those wings looks absolutely crazy. It's like very different. And you still get like the screen from the s1000s and all that such a nice display we need a screen protector for that for sure oh this bike has heated grips i forgot about that i could have used them this whole time in this freezing weather i love this handlebar how it says like m and the 1000 right here in between the machine piece with the bmw logo they really did very well on this imagine if I have my titanium obsession again. I start putting titanium bolts everywhere. <laughs> That'll be way too much. Honestly, first reaction is just like it's very similar to the M1000 R. Obviously, it's the same engine, and just in a naked form, like in a more comfortable, uh, relaxed position. A little more wobbly, of course. There you go. Yeah, a little sluggish right there. It definitely needs a tune and to be unlocked. But Brent tuning will save that day. As soon as I get it all locked. But yeah, let me know what do you guys think about. <laughs> let me know what do you think about uh, this bike. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. This is just a quick first ride of this bike, uh, since literally pretty much nobody has this bike yet. So that's what I'm doing with it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and ride safe. And now we're going to go do another video with an S1000 R that a subscriber won. I did a giveaway of fairings and a subscriber won the fairing. So we're going to be doing that. But yeah, welcome to this M1000 R. You guys are going to be seeing it a lot, uh, especially soon. Uh, because we're going to have to be putting those miles on at least 400 miles until I open it and service it. So yeah. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. All the BMWs here. <laughs>